Hi, I'm author Marley Gibson, and I'm here to talk to you today about the new Radiate Foundation I'm starting. The Radiate Foundation is going to use a network of local cheerleaders to go to hospitals to deliver a cheer basket to a young adult that's currently going through cancer treatment. Now, these can be high school cheerleaders, peewee cheerleaders, all-star gym cheerleaders, college cheerleaders, pro cheerleaders, anybody in a cheerleader uniform that's going to deliver this cheer basket and help lift the spirits of the person that's going through the cancer treatment. I was inspired to start the Radiate Foundation after I finished writing my book, Radiate. It's a young adult novel that's based on my own experiences with cancer as a teenage cheerleader. The story follows young Haley Matthews, who's a high school senior, and she's sort of, you know, disillusioned with her status as just another figure in the marching band so she takes a chance and tries out for varsity cheerleader and she makes it during a summer cheerleading practice though she discovers a lump on her leg and eventually has to tell her parents about it they take her to the doctor and the prognosis is worse than anyone had thought she's got a form of bone cancer and the tumor's got to be removed she may lose her leg and she may never walk again it means that she's going to miss cheerleading camp some members of the team consider throwing her off the team, but her mom kind of begs for her cheerleading life and Haley stays on the team and even returns to cheer every game that season but one. Radiate, it's an inspirational story for anyone who's struggled and it really illustrates that with perseverance, tenacity, and determination, you can really overcome any obstacle that life throws your way. Yes, Radiate is based on a true story. In 1982, I tried out for varsity cheerleader at my school and I made it. And um, during summer cheerleading practice, I found this lump on my left leg. And I thought maybe it was a pulled muscle or I had, you know, I had done something to hurt myself. But when the pain didn't go away, I had to tell my parents about it. And they took me to the doctor and our worst fear was confirmed that it was indeed a rare form of bone cancer called periosteal osteosarcoma. Well, it's been 30 years, but you know what? Today, I'm still here, my leg is still here, and three decades later, I am cancer-free. The most memorable thing that happened when I was in the hospital was a group of local cheerleaders came in uniform to visit me and to cheer for me, bringing me balloons and a big cheer basket full of goodies full of all sorts of yummy things. And it was amazing because it really made me feel like other people cared. And I made the same thing happen in the book for Haley. Um, I had her own squad come to visit her while she was in the hospital to cheer her up. Well, as I was writing Radiate, you know, I was turning up a lot of emotions from a, a long time ago and I was remembering that time and I thought I needed a way to pay it forward and I remembered how wonderful that visit from those visiting cheerleaders was and I thought I've got to create the Radiate Foundation to help bring cheer baskets to people and help lift their spirits. A Radiate cheer basket is going to be a huge basket of goodies, stuffed animals, toys, posters, magazines, candy, sodas, and a complimentary autographed copy of Radiate, but it's going to be this big basket of goodies that will be delivered to the ca cancer patient to help lift their spirits and cheer them up. There are a lot of charities out there for cancer patients, but most of those charities focus on people who are through the cancer and what to do next in that next stage of their life or it's to help their families find hotels or, or living situations while they're going through cancer. There are not really charities out there for people currently going through cancer treatment. So the Radiate Foundation is different because it helps those who are going through this right now. And it helps lift their spirits and help them with their attitudes to get through that treatment. Quite simply, I'm doing this for my 15-year-old self. The 15-year-old girl who laid in a hospital bed and didn't have social networking, didn't have CNN, didn't have blogs, the internet, and all the stories that focus on kids with cancer, that didn't exist back then. And I'm doing this for my 15-year-old self because she was very lonely 
and no kids should ever be <laughs> sorry no one should ever go through that alone and I suppose that's why the visit from those cheerleaders meant so much to me and stuck with me and why I put it in the book and made it such an important part of Haley's recovery because it was a very big part of my recovery and that's what the Radiate Foundation is there for. It's going to lift people's spirits and it's, I'm doing it for my 15 year old self. And that's why I'm here today, asking you to contribute via our crowdsourcing campaign. Your contributions will go toward the filing fees and expenses for our incorporation and registration as a tax exempt 501c3 entity. Also to purchase copies of Radiate to distribute to children's cancer treatment hospitals, summer cancer camps, and influential members of the media. And of course, to purchase materials and items to make and ship those Radiate cheer baskets. We can't do this alone. We need your help to make the Radiate Foundation a reality. Please contribute as much as you can. Even a dollar helps. And also, please share this on your social media sites and your blogs to help spread the word. Thank you so much for your support.